peeps, what's the deal? Today's episode is about why your arms are so small and what you can do to improve it. It's Higgs TV, episode 3. Let's get to it. Big arms, important. Well, in life and in something like bodybuilding or you're just a regular gym rat, I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Having an extra inch or two on your arms will help in all areas of your life, really. But what I particularly want to talk about are how it's relevant to have big arms in something like powerlifting. So how are they relevant to powerlifting? Well, I'll start with the biceps. So having some like big biceps can give you a cushion at the bottom of a bench press. So at the bottom of a bench press and your arm is quite big and you feel quite stable at the bottom, it'll give you more strength off your chest. That's one way that that can help. Also, having a more dense, bigger bicep when you're deadlifting can really reduce the risk of you tearing your bicep because it happens all the time, especially in strongman, powerlifting, stuff like that. You see guys like Stan the Rhino efforting. <laughs> One of the strongest powerlifters who ever fucking lived, and he was a professional bodybuilder at the same time. He used to put a huge amount of tension on his biceps when he deadlifted. And people used to say it all the time, how is he not tearing his biceps when that guy has literally been training them for two or three decades? Of course he's not going to tear it. The thing is made of steel at this point. So that's one way that biceps can be beneficial to your sport, like strength sports, like powerlifting. Onto the other side of the arm, you have the tricep. A tricep makes up two thirds of your arm, right? So build up your triceps, that's how you fill out a t-shirt. But what I wanna talk about is how it's relevant to powerlifting, hence the channel No Mess Powerlifting. So the main reason, the only one I'm gonna talk about or why triceps are relevant to powerlifting is bench pressing. It is probably hand in hand, in raw powerlifting, it's probably hand in hand with your chest on what is used most for a bench press, especially in geared powerlifting, it's nearly all triceps. So building your triceps and raw powerlifting can help increase your lockout strength, which is absolutely relevant. And obviously having a bigger arm gives you more of a cushion when you're off your chest. Now that I've spoken on why having big arms can be relevant to the strength sport, what I really want to talk about is how you can take yourself from having puny matchstick arms to actually being fairly jacked. So, the first demographic that I want to talk about is the gym newbie or the intermediate. The guy who's been lifting maybe a year, maximum two years, thinks he knows something about lifting, but actually he knows jack shit about lifting. And they spend most of their training sessions playing grab ass with five of their mates on the preacher curl bench, they're doing skull crushers, they're doing all these isolation exercises and they completely miss the point. You can't polish a turd. What these guys need to do is cultivate some mass on their frame overall. So stop with the curls, stop with the tricep extensions. You need to be doing bench presses, close grip bench presses, dumbbell presses of all kinds to build your triceps. To build your biceps at this stage of your lifting career, you need to be doing pull-ups with your body weight, mastering your body weight. Should be, do, be able to do 10 pull-ups, dumbbell rows, barbell rows, body rows, ropes, whatever the fuck. Do anything, big compound exercises, bang for your buck exercises. These are the things that are gonna build your arms at this stage of your lifting career. So to recap, gym newbies, stop doing isolation work, do more compounds. Do that a lot until you're building size. Build your foundation first, then shape it after. The other demographic I wanna talk about are ride or die power lifters. These guys, they're doing the most insane programs, ultra complex, fucking conjugate, undulating, mocha frappuccino, fucking deload week, whatever the hell it is. They're doing mental programs, they refuse. They refuse to do isolation work at any stage. They think they're above it. But let me tell you what, if you don't look like you lift and you're somewhat strong, what's the fucking point in my opinion? Really, I do actually mean that. What is the point? If you don't look like you lift, what are you doing? You know, no one really cares how strong you are at the end of the day. It's a personal battle. 
Especially when you're not breaking world records. So what do these dudes need to do? They need to go to the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm not saying stop powerlifting and start becoming the fucking gym rat douchebag. I'm saying don't tell me you can't take 10-15 minutes at the end of one of your upper body sessions once a week to do some curls, do some extensions, work on stuff. At the end of the day, building size in arms, as I explained how big arms are relevant to lifters, this will really be important for these guys and they'll benefit a lot from actually just putting on some good old fashioned size. Folks, that's the video. There was a quick little video on how to build your arms if you don't have big arms and why you should have big arms if you lift a lot and you don't look jacked. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, follow me on Instagram, all the rest guys. Got some big news coming in the next week. Um, which I will stay tight-lipped on for the moment. But anyway, guys, thanks a million for watching. Catch you next time.